the ramp parts of it coming up from the street to get you up to, to sidewalk level, um, those have a requirement of 8.3% max slope. And so that, that works out to be about one inch every foot of, of one inch of rise for every foot of run. And, and so that is the max for the ramp part. Now you're also required to have a landing at the top of the ramp. The, the requirements for the landing are 2% max slope in each direction which is roughly a quarter inch per foot um, in each direction. Now it might sound like a good idea to make it flat because that way people aren't gonna roll off, it's a nice flat surface, um, but we still do have to address the water issue. And so we don't want water ponding or, or puddling on our, our walking surfaces because then you have the likelihood of it freezing at some point and then you create a very unsafe situation. And so generally we try to design our, our cross slope or the slope running perpendicular to the direction of travel on a sidewalk at about one and a half percent. That, that's level enough where people aren't going to have an issue with rolling or, or you know, sliding off the, the edge of the sidewalk, but it also provides enough slope to get the water off of it so that we don't have those icing issues.